annual Perseid meteor shower will light up the sky when it peaks at roughly 4 p.m. Eastern time, which is what, 9 p.m. London time tonight, Derek Van Dam. So I might have a good chance of seeing it. Yeah, you're going to have pretty decent chances there in London, but I don't think the 4 p.m. is going to work out too well for people. <laughs> it might be a bit too daylight. Look, Chrissy, there is just so much nostalgia wrapped up in this story for me. And I got to share this story because when I was a child, I would set up the chairs in my backyard with my parents to go watch this annual spectacle in the sky known as the Perseids meteor shower and uh, so I have fond memories of this and you could do it too. I remember seeing this as a child. Uh, you look into the north sky. There's what is called a radiant. That's the area where the majority of the meteors kind of spread out in all directions across the sky and uh, unfortunately there are a few things working against us. I'll explain that in just a second, but this is what it looks like if you get lucky enough to be outside of the city and away from the full moon <laughs> that just happened. Uh, shooting stars here here are just quite the sight uh, when you wish upon a falling star, right? We tell our kids that a lot, and uh, so do I. Uh, and they're just that wonderful, right? And this is why we're talking about it, because the Perseus meteor shower peaks tonight through tomorrow, uh, and we could see up to 100 of these per hour if you're looking at the right time of the night and in the right direction, as well as the conditions uh, playing along with you. Obviously, the sky cover has a major factor in this, so the eastern parts of the U.S. not looking too good, but the central and western half of the U.S. looking fantastic. So what's the difference between a meteoroid, a meteor, and a meteorite? Well, a meteor, which you'll see tonight, is actually a rock entering the Earth's atmosphere but burns up before it reaches the ground. A meteorite is actually surviving the Earth's atmosphere and it hits the ground, just like what happened in the southeastern United States earlier this summer. Do you remember the fireball that we talked about that impacted uh, North Georgia into the U.S. state of South Carolina, lit up the daylight sky? Well, that rock actually punctured a hole in somebody's roof in North Georgia and they sent away this extraterrestrial rock to a laboratory and they just found out that that rock is older than the Earth itself, 4.56 billion years old, in fact, according to the scientists that studied this rock that fell out of the sky, this meteorite. And, uh, and it's just really incredible, Christina, to think about where this originated and how <laughs> it came to find its way here in southeastern United States. So yeah. meteorite, that's what the one that falls through the Earth's atmosphere <laughs> lands on the ground. I feel like I'm in <laughs> class learning with you every moment. Uh, Derek, uh, I appreciate like it. it. And I love that personal story. You've inspired me to sit out and try and see what I can see tonight. Thank awesome. you.